In this video, I will show you the different types of SquareLine licenses, how you can use them, and how to manage them through the License Manager page. Let's get started! You can find the types of licenses available in the Licenses menu on the website. The trial version can be used without registration, allowing you to try out the software. You just need to download it and you can use it completely free for 30 days. The limitations associated with each license are listed in the table. The personal license is designed for hobbyists and students. You can use it completely free of charge, just register and log in to the software with that account. The small business license was created to support small companies. You can find the conditions for obtaining the small business license on this link. The business license is available in three different forms, subscription-based, either monthly or annually. You can cancel the subscription at any time, but your license will only be valid during the subscription period. The lifetime and floating licenses can be used indefinitely and include version updates for one year. If you want to continue receiving the latest software versions after one year, you can purchase additional version updates for one or more years at any time. A floating license is recommended for companies where multiple users want to use the software simultaneously. When purchasing one floating license, up to 10 users can be registered with the license on our website, but only one user can log into the software at a time. If you purchase two licenses, two users can log in simultaneously, and 20 users can be registered, and so on. A continuous internet connection is required to use the floating license. The Enterprise License is recommended for large companies that require at least 10 licenses and customized support or development for the software. Now, let me show you how to apply the licenses. After downloading the software, if you don't log in, the trial license will be available. If you want to use the personal license, just log in, and you will instantly receive the personal license. If you want to purchase a business license, you can easily do so on the website, instantly, with a card payment. When you click the Buy Now button, the cart will appear. Here, you can select whether you want a renewable or one-time license. Then, click on the Proceed to Checkout button to purchase the selected license. After purchasing, if you start the software and have previously used a personal license, you'll need to revoke it from the user first. The easiest way to do this is to click the gear icon in the launcher, which opens the Preferences menu. Here you can remove the license by clicking the Revoke License button. After logging in again, a list of purchased licenses that you can use will appear. Select the desired license, and by clicking the Select License button, you can start using the software. Now, let's take a look at how you can manage your licenses on the website. If you are logged in, select the Licenses menu option from the list under your profile icon. In this menu, you will see the licenses you have purchased. Among the license parameters, you'll find the license ID, type, expiration date, how many times you can revoke it, and whether it is tied to a specific computer. Here, you can revoke the license if you couldn't do so in the software. You also have the option to transfer the usage rights of the license to another registered account. This is an important feature if the person who purchased the license is not the one using it. Transferring is very simple, just enter the email address and click the transfer license button. Transferred licenses can be revoked at any time. If you purchase a lifetime or floating license and want to extend version support, you can do so by clicking the extended version tracking button. Managing a floating license is a bit more complex. As mentioned earlier, with one floating license, 10 users can use the license, but not at the same time. The Active Users section shows how many users can use the license in total and how many of them are currently active. Adding users is very simple, just enter the already registered user's email address and click the Add button. The user will then appear in a new list. The status will show which user is active. If you want to make a user inactive, just click the Set Inactive button. You can remove users from the list at any time with the delete button and add new ones. For detailed information about the licenses and how to use them, you can refer to the SquareLane Studio documentation. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified about our latest videos on time.